everyone, it is check-in time and we are going to be checking in on the last week of May and it has really come and gone already. It is the last week of May and we're going to be checking in from the 23rd through the 29th which is today's the 29th and I don't plan on spending anything today. We're going to be doing that. We are going to be from here to here. So we still have a little bit of May, but that's going to cross over to June. Before I begin, take out your stickers, your receipts, whatever you need to do, your cash envelopes, and have them all out so we can start checking in. Um, I will have my little cheat sheet right here on the side, and I'm going to take out my main cash envelopes. And I, let's see. Quickly want to mention, I do have a $3 extra box from CVS so I can spend something and hopefully I can roll that over into more extra bucks. But I don't really need anything at the moment. And my little stickers. So my receipts is in here and you guys know how I got this. I do have a ton of these that are not laminated so I don't know, maybe I'll sell them with these little things right here. I think I'm going to do that because they're really useful and... I'm going to have the opening either here or at the top. I think the top would be pretty cute. I don't know. But this is a great idea to sell actually. I just got that idea. Anyways, I have my little stickers right here. My sticker book. I got this little photo album from Walmart for 74 cents I believe. And this is what they look like. And my cash envelopes are going to be here. You guys know how messy this turns out to be. Let us begin on the very first day that we spent something, which is, I already know, it's going to be that Thursday right there. Um, I forgot to take out my, my stickers, which is my stickers right here. This one is from Erica. And then these are my little budget expense stickers that I do keep in track of with my little compliment card from Erin Condren right here. And then I have my no spend stickers because we are, we are going to be using them. And then let's take out all of our receipts right here. And that's it. I went to Cold Stone that Thursday because I was off and I got paid so I was feeling pretty nice and I went to Cold Stone and I took my boyfriend with me and we got some ice cream and I took that out from our eating out money. This is my receipt. I spent honestly a lot. That's not $9. It's actually $12. I don't know what I was thinking. It's not. <laughs> that was my um, change but it's, it should be $12 because I didn't have any coins with me. So I had to pay $11.20, so I round out, so that's $12. And we're going to be taking out our blue, and we're going to put cold stone. It's just really hot lately, and I can't really deal with going out. I don't go out anymore, but... It's just some days you have to do errands, but for this day, we really wanted some cold stone. I'm going to put that on the bottom, just in case we have some more spending that day. We do, we have a couple. I went to Hobby Lobby, and I also went to Office Depot. Now, this is coming out for my Etsy fund, and I really am debating if I should include my Etsy spending on my check-ins. Please let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want to see how much I spend? Because I do keep in track of this separately on my 8.5 by 11 Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly. And it is all separate. But for now, I'm going to put this here. So we're going to put Office Depot. Office Depot and Hobby Lobby. And I just got some pens and more paper from Office Depot, the one I use for my big cash envelopes. And I also got some more um, cardstock paper from Hobby Lobby. $10.29 on Hobby Lobby. And then I spent $13.87 at Office Depot. And the reason that these are exact numbers is because I have a separate checking account from my Etsy um, related stuff like 
my paycheck goes in there if I do get paid from Etsy and if I ever need um, supplies for my Etsy it does come out from that checking account and that's just how I like doing things we are using a lot of the yellow stickers so <laughs> I do need to make this separate just so we know that it's for Etsy that looks good and that's everything we spent on Thursday the next spending day is on the 25th which is the Saturday my boyfriend and I got some McDonald's after work and actually I'm the only one who got something and he got like a milkshake I don't know if I have the receipt and I do keep in track of my receipts for anything that I spend on Etsy like these right here I do keep that and I have a little Etsy receipt for 2019 and this is for tax purposes and I just have a lot of them in here at McDonald's I spent I don't have the receipt but I spent eight dollars and that is the remaining amount in my eating out cash envelope for this week just for this week so I do have zero balance on that as well McDonald's eight dollars I just I just like McDonald's because it's really right next to work that's why I I go there a lot I feel like every time I have to go in or after work when I'm feeling really hungry I go there and I really haven't been spending any money at Wendy's lately so maybe I need to go there instead because it's a lot cheaper and we did groceries on the 26th which is that Sunday and I I'm just gonna combine them together. So at Walmart, I spend, as far as groceries go, I spent $33. And that includes, this one's my, our grocery together. And then, this one is my grocery for myself. I bought myself some ice cream just in case if I am craving for some, I'll have it in the fridge instead of going to Cold Stone. I spent... $33 at Walmart and then we also got some laundry detergent and that one was taken out from my household and I also had to buy some shower curtains like the lining for the shower curtains because ours is getting really dirty um, so that is gonna be our household I spent $10 there I just really like these combo colors together. Really nice. So for the household on the 26th, we are gonna be putting this pink one on the bottom. And for Walmart, let's put this one right here. That's it for the 26th and the next spending date is the 28th which is gonna be the gas for the sinking funds I gave this to my boyfriend again because I've been needing a ride to work because it's so hot it's like 100 degrees here and I just I just can't drive I've driven a couple of times but I just I prefer him taking me if he can and even now like I'm sweating at my house but I do turn off our air conditioner which is probably not a good way to do it anymore just because it's too hot and I also paid a couple of bills on the 28th because it was Memorial Day Monday and we weren't able to do any of the bills so the Cox got taken out as well as we paid for electricity and I'm using these bill due stickers from Erica Life Vlogs I will link her Etsy page down below and for Cox I paid $25 and for my electricity I paid $40 and that has been working out for us still even though it's already coming into the summertime and we are still we are still good on the $40 so let's put this right here I'm debating on like switching to these premium matte stickers because the color payoff it's so much nicer. It's just the removable part of it is if it's removable or not. I don't know. 
I need to test it out and see how it goes. Somebody said if I do change my um, paper, if I could still keep my old ones, that they would really appreciate it. I just think that the color payoff on these are not so nice. They are nice right here. It's hard to know what's on the screen and what will actually print out. So that's my whole deal with that. And that's it for spending, guys. I didn't do so bad, right? I did pretty good. I have one right here. One, two, three no spend days. And let's get our... Oh, that's exactly how much we have on this sticker sheet. I am going through these so much. So I have my no spend right here. I am revamping these no spend stickers. They're going to look the same, but... I made the offset different because if you guys have my um, no spend stickers, I noticed that there's like little little openings right here and it kind of looks weird. I just made it the offset to be bigger so there's no like little gaps in the middle. So that's what I did and I just revamped it a little bit just so it's not so annoying and I made more room in between them and I made the circle part an actual circle instead of a square. I just revamped it a little bit. So I'm gonna be putting that out soon. So no spend right here. If you get my no spends from here on out, I'm gonna give you the revamped version and I'm keeping all the older ones. So there we go. This month has definitely been a lot more of the no spend stickers, which I really, really, really like. Like this is bingo right here because I usually don't spend money on Wednesdays. And let's see, last April, we are colorful and my no spend stickers were kind of dull looking just because I didn't have my printer this time around. This is just a little bit more colorful. This one is just a lot of no spend. So I'm really, really happy about that. And let's move on to our check-in, which is going to be this one right here. Let's take out our cash envelopes that we need to keep in track of for groceries, um, household, in out, allowance, and that's it. For groceries, we spent $33, and we're just going to put minus $33. And then for allowance, we spent nothing. Oh wait, no, actually it was on payday right here. I transferred $8 to my savings just so I can, I can make that $500 mark for my savings. So let's do that. Savings. I forgot to put it on my index card. So at least I have my little cheat sheet right here so that's the purpose of these little index cards so I don't like lose myself just in case I forget something and I kind of have a way to double check things so I did spend something on my savings and that was eight dollars minus eight and then for eating out I spend the whole twenty dollars basically Nothing's new. And then for the household, I spent ten dollars. And for unbudgeted, I didn't have, I didn't have any unbudgeted. Anything that I do spend unbudgeted will be taken out from my savings account. So just keep that in mind if you guys are wondering where it's coming from. If I ever do have it. So we did get paid. So the amount of this will change. So for my groceries, it did have a hundred. For my allowance before. It did have, let's see, had 102. For my eating out, had 40. And for household, had $14. And this was on payday. Right now, so 100 minus 33, minus 33, we should have $67. My allowance, 102 minus eight is 94 dollars for my eating out that should have 20 for household i should have four dollars and zero right there let's just double check the cash envelopes if we have some so let's start on the household do we have four dollars in there we do 
It's that red one that I always see every time we do these check-ins. I need to get rid of it because it's bothering me. I don't know, maybe it's bothering you guys too. Um, for our eating out, we have $20, which is right there. That's it. It's for next week. For my allowance, we should have 94 80 to three four dollars ninety four and for groceries we should have 67 so we have 20 40 50 65 6 7 67 and let's put the leftover on the side so we have 50 for next week and then we have 17 dollars left over and we're gonna put that in our grocery rollover cash envelope which is now in our purple envelope which is my debt i transferred it the other day so we should have 17 dollars in here and i do update my cash envelopes my smaller ones later on and let's just put this in there, put that on the side, and we are done. That is it for May as well. So I think we did really, really good. We had a lot of no spend days this month, and I'm super proud of us. And I hope you guys had the same results. A lot of no spend days, and it's all right to spend if you have it on your allowance or anything that's already budgeted. But if you didn't do so good, that's okay. You have next month to look forward for, and. I feel like the result of these no spend days shows on my savings a lot and remember next month we are gonna be or the next few days we are gonna be tackling our debt so I'm gonna have my little debt breakdown which is already making my head hurt I will have that in the next couple of days probably next week thank you so much for watching and just for supporting me in general I will see you guys on my next video bye